my friends, it is time. It is time for episode two of the Lord of the Rings Challenge, season two. <laughs> So let us start this challenge by addressing the elephant in the room. In the last episode of the Lord of the Rings challenge, I picked up the profession blacksmithing, but as you can see, I've never actually done anything with it. It's still at one. So I'm just going to unlearn the profession and now I don't have it. You know, it's just a natural thing, man. You walk into the level five town, you walk into Brill, you walk into Karen Austin, what's the first thing you do? You pick up a profession. So, you know, it's just a little mistake. You know, even I can forget a rule here and there. So thank you guys for pointing that out. But let us continue on our merry journey through the Dumbrach. Help me, dwarves! Help me! I don't even freaking care. Back in my day, when I was fighting something, like a valiant enemy, my dwarven comrades would assist me, but... Okay. Helm's Bed Lake. It's like Helm's Deep, but it's Helm's Bed. Oh my god. This is no lake covered in water elementals. It is a tomb. Literally. I freed a guy. Help me fight. Oh, he's actually gonna help me fight. Oh wait, no he's not. <laughs> I got excited. I was like, oh dude, I got a companion. I wonder if there's a rare spawn at the bottom of this. There might be. Uh, damn it. Blizzard, it would have been per- Ooh. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Blizzard, it would have been perfect. You could have put a rare spawn, like a rare water elemental in the water. Take my idea. Take it and call the water elemental Nixium. Please. Thank you. That can be my cameo NPC. Yeah. Dude, I am so powerful. The gnome is growing on me a little bit. Can't believe I just said that. Kill five dyke iron smiths kept to the dark plans to catch about. Dude, I would love to go and capture the dark iron people, but... Dude, I need to, I need to make some roasted boar meat first. There we go. I made some roasted boar meat. Now let's sit down and let's enjoy it. You can't go on an epic perilous journey on an empty stomach. I killed an ant. Friends, I do not understand. I have literally put out so much ant poison. It has killed, like the ants have been eating it. There is no food in here. There is nothing. And yet all the time I'm finding ants in here. I don't understand why. There's nothing in here. There's no food. There's nothing. I hate them. I hate them. They're like the freaking orcs from Mordor. They're just a, a menace upon this land. I actually decided, guys, to go full on basic bitch. And look, I got, oh shit. <laughs> I, I got one of these like, like, well, one of these chairs. You know, those things that every YouTuber and streamer and their mom has. But mine has a leg rest. Okay because leg rests are awesome and it's very comfy. It's great. I love it, especially if you stream a lot like I do over on Twitch. Go watch me. Margaret, bring me my coffee. Damn it. The dark iron spies delved too greedily and too deep into Dunmoreau. And then they ran into motherfucking Sam Gamgee, played by Nixium and got their fucking asses kicked. Oh shit, I might want to be careful to be honest. Oh shit. Go away. Oh my God. I almost died. I need to shut up and pay attention. That was really, really close. Like too close for comfort. I got that 10 second poison on me. I'm actually just gonna kinda, I'm playing it safe. I'm gonna eat food to try to like dodge the poison and keep myself up. I am not taking any risks. Oh my God, dude, a dark iron treasure chest. That's awesome. That was Gimli's alcoholic uncle. I killed him. Dude, charge, oh, charge your spell, six armor. Oh, but but at least I found a treasure chest and that was cool. I mean, come on. Ding, level 11. I'm gonna be kind of like all vanilla-ish and I'm gonna grind on mobs as I progress through quests. That's actually a really good idea for a new video, like tips for vanilla WoW or like tips for playing classic. It'd be kind of cool. That's actually a really good idea. I'm going to write that down. Whoa, I got something. I got something new. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that? I got that all the things add on because Asmongold is doing all the things and he's at 96%. And I'm like, Psh, I could do that. I mean, I'm at like what right now? Nine. Oh. 
<laughs> All right, I have to talk to somebody and get on their griffin. Is it this guy? We need a way to get you there. For you. Take the road back towards the quarry and... Oh, yeah, okay. Got it. Once a jolly swagman camped by a billabong Under the shade of a coolie bar tree And he sang as he watched and waited till his billy boiled You'll come a-waltzing Matilda with me. Get off the tables, you buttholes. Can I cook uh, some more boar meat? I can cook some more boar meat. Let's do it. Hail, fellow hobbit. I see you have attained a great eagle for me to ride. I shall hop upon thine eagle and fly. Please keep your hands and feet inside the eagle at all times. Ant! Urgh. Sacrifice to the old ones. They're attracted to my screen because they want to be a part of the Lord of the Rings challenge, but but they're not allowed. They need they, they, they're not old enough. This is actually the quest that if you play as a mage, a human mage, you can come here and it rewards a white robe. Fun fact. I remember doing this on Grey Pilgrim and it was awesome. Did I do it. There we go. Six out of six. Perfect. Got it. Uh, plant eight Ironforge banners in the mounds of loose snow. Got it. Don't worry, friends. Through the power of fellowship and the power of friendship, we can defeat the Dark Irons, who for some reason we're fighting, even though they're going to be the allied race in Battle for Azeroth. But we're not going to ask questions. We're just going to kill them. Oh, no, I've been targeted by some. Hold on. How the freak did he target me? I'm like a million miles away. It's just like the battle outside of Moria from the Hobbit movies. Remember? You know, it had like the big old stone city and all the dwarves were fighting the orcs. But instead of orcs in World of Warcraft, they're Dark Iron Dwarves. But they might as well be orcs because they're so ugly. Actually, they're really freaking cool and I can't wait to play them in Battle for Azeroth. Oh shit. What if that had killed me? <laughs> I would have been like, well, that was a great challenge, guys. <laughs> we had a good time, didn't we? Reboard the, the bomber and kill 30 people. Oh, I can do that. Remember when Sam Gamgee got in the airplane and dropped bombs on people have some titus boil them mash them stick them in a stew you know the bombs would technically hit our troops as well but i guess these are like just anti-dark iron dwarf dwarf bombs so that's pretty cool kill uh general grim axe got it i should be okay i did this quite ant <laughs> damn it he got away wait maybe he didn't wait yeah he got away damn it all right the trick is guys just don't aggro anything. Oh my god, he actually does a good little bit of damage. Help me! Help me, dwarves! Okay. Alright, it wasn't too bad, but still. Like, he took like a fourth of my health away. That was kind of scary. I think the Dark Iron Dwarves are just so freaking cool because it's all the glory of a dwarf, but they used to worship Ragnaros. You know, they lived in Blackrock Mountain worshiping Ragnaros and honoring him and paying, you know, him respect. And they just have that kind of kind of classic wow uh sort of dark you know dwarven scottish vibe like it just it just feels good I'm really excited to play as one in battle for azeroth it's gonna be awesome let's see is this gonna be new it's not collected listen oh cool <laughs> go to uh iron forge's high seat and deliver the letter i can do that it's actually good that i got this quest to go to iron forge because i'm sure some of you guys are probably thinking, oh, Nixiam, are you going to go through Loch Madan again? Are you going to go through uh, the wetlands again and everything? Because you already did that on Grey Pilgrim, so are you really going to do it again? No. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing something different. In the Lord of the Rings Challenge Season 1, we went through the Eastern Kingdoms. In this season, we're going to go through Kalimdor. Why is there this random Draenei Lightforge lady standing here? I leveled! Yay! <gasps> and it's green i can use it what the heck i have never noticed this guy corin twin bellows look at him he's got this big lock on him and he's got this thing heavy armor physical damage taken reduced by 99 percent what the heck is that guy that's pretty cool you're under arrest you may come quietly i'll go willingly my purpose in my master's plan is fulfilled okay i like how it's just like these little chains around him and he just like gingerly chases after you like ah oh, you know whatever dude i got a new axe Ooh, and i got a new it, dude it's added to my collection you hear the sound so look at this wow 10 to 22 let's look at it wow look at that 
Dude, that looks so cool. Sam Gamgee, you need to calm down, man. You're going to make all the ladies watching this challenge too excited. I like it. Well, my friends, I think it's that time. I think we should uh, leave these lands behind and travel to new territories with new quests and new adventures that lie ahead. You could almost say that the road goes ever on. Oh, look, it's Tinkertown, everyone's favorite place in the Iron Forge. Oh, wait, this only does three to seven damage. I just realized. Why the heck am I... Hold on, let's switch that out. There we go. That's much better. Now I don't have that glowing blue sword anymore. <laughs> Got one. Dude, when the classic WoW servers come out, guys, be ready because this freaking whistle, everybody's going to have it, and they're going to be running around spamming that music. <laughs> Why does my character look so dumbfounded while he sits? It's like the face you make when you find a porn that you've never seen before on the internet. Deep run trams go ever, ever on over rock and under the ocean, even though technically the deep run tram shouldn't go underneath the ocean because it goes from here to Stormwind. But I guess now technically it does go under the ocean because Cataclysm happened and it put that weird like fissure thing above the Stormwind area and beneath the Dunmoreau area. So technically it would go underneath the ocean. And trees and hills they long have known. This is actually pretty bizarre, my friends. A, a small hobbit in the land of the big folk. We have some nice hobbit-sized rooms available for you. Always happy to cater to the little folk. Barlamin Butterbur is one of those characters in Lord of the Rings that does not get the credit that he deserves. All the movie fans just went, who the heck is Barlamin Butterbur, Nixium? That's right, Barlamin Butterbur. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. If you don't know who he is, well, sorry. I'm going to jump off this ledge and I hope it doesn't kill me. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. I probably shouldn't have done that. Perfect timing. Look, my boat has arrived. All right, boat, please don't leave. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we have made it through the perilous mountains of Dunmoreau and Cosmodon. And I think, uh, I think this is a good place to wrap it up. It was a good episode. Had a lot of fun fighting the Dark Iron Dwarves outside of Moria. But I think it's about that time that I say goodbye. So I will see you guys on the other side of the sea in a new land. The land of the elves. Guys, thanks for watching. Big shout out to those of you who support me and the challenge over on Patreon. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you guys on episode three of the Lord of the Rings Challenge season two. And hopefully I don't die. See ya!